Here we are, folks. Lesson 100. Yeah. You can do, we can kind of like, we're in good shape now. You might even be happy enough to do a little dance like this. came from anyway probably some FBI file footage on somebody anyhow okay well let's do an oldie all right the ratio of dogs to cats was nine to five if there were 72 dogs how many cats were there all right let's do it so we got a ratio here dogs to cats that's gonna be nine to five okay so there were 72 dogs you're gonna go okay dogs that matches there that's on top how many cats were there just set those two equal right so you'll go nine times C which is cats, equals five times 72, that's gonna be 360. So, you know, 360 divided by nine is the same thing as 36 divided by nine with a zero on it. There you go, there's your problem. Piece of cake, right? Okay, well here's a, here's a little twist on it, okay? The ratio of dogs to cats was nine to five, same thing. If there were 140 total animals, how many dogs were there? Hmm. That's different, right? Not the same thing, okay? total animals all right here's the trick you ready okay the ratio of dogs to cats was nine to five let's put up three ratios okay every time you do these i want you to write three ratios then i want you to choose the right one okay so dogs to cats let's do that we already know right dogs to cats is nine to five that's the ratio correct okay here's the second ratio dogs to the total What's the ratio of dogs to total? Okay, well that's still gonna be nine, right? The ratio of dogs is nine. To the total will be nine plus five, right? Nine dogs to five cats, that's gonna be nine plus five is 14, okay? That doesn't mean there are 14 total animals. Well, they, heck, they already told you there aren't 14 animals, they, they, they told you there are 140, but that's just a simple version. Okay, the last ratio we're gonna do is cats to total. Okay, well if dogs is nine to 14, what is cats, you tell me? Five to 14, right? Cats to the total, okay. All right, they're telling you there's 140 total animals, how many dogs were there? Okay, so what the, what the, the two things there we're messing with in this problem, if they're saying, oh, 140 total, and then we're looking for dogs. Well, that's the one we want to use then. The, the, this ratio right here that has dog, dogs and total in it. So let's do it, okay? We know the dogs to the total is nine to 14. All right, let's put, put another ratio. We know that there are 140 total animals, all right? So where does that 140 go, here or here? It's here, right? Because it matches the total. The total number here is on the bottom, so put 140 right there. That's an equals there, right? There's a D. We got it. So just to summarize, you figure out the, you know, the dogs to cats or whatever to whatever. Then you use the, to add those together to figure out one to the total and then figure out the other one to the total. And then you look back at the problem and you go, okay, they're asking, okay, there are 140 total animals. Oh, they're giving me something with a T in it. So I'm not gonna be using that. And it doesn't have a T in it. So that is dogs to total or cats to total. Let's see, how many dogs? Oh, it's this one right here. I'm gonna use that and fill in the blanks and then boom, there you go. And you could probably see on this that 14 times 10 is 140. So nine times 10 will be 90 dogs and that's gonna be your answer. You could have also, you know, cross multiplying that the same thing. Okay, another one. Farmer Bieber Kalman wanted to plant his farm with rutabagas and pineapples in the ratio of seven acres to nine acres. If he had 640 acres, how many should be planted in pineapples? Okay, well, let's stop right now. All right, so the ratio of rutabagas to pineapples is seven to nine. Go ahead, pause this thing right now. You write me a, a something equals something with rutabagas and pineapples in the ratio of seven to nine. Go ahead. Okay, so over here we've got rutabagas to pineapples. That's gonna be seven to nine. Is that what you had? Good, I'm assuming you said yes, okay. Now, you tell me the other one. I'm gonna do rutabagas to total, and I'm gonna do pineapples to total. All right, you tell me, what's the rutabagas to total? Seven to what? 16, right? Okay, the pineapples to total is gonna to be nine to 16, right? Okay, now let's find out what they're asking us. They're asking, hey, 640 acres, well, that's a total, right? We're gonna use one of these two, so gone. How many pineapples? Ah, okay, so we're using this one. 
All right. All we need to do is fill in the blanks. Okay. So we got nine to sixteen. That's the that's the uh, pineapples to the total. Pineapples to the total. Let's see how many pineapples. We don't know the pineapples. We put P there. The total is six forty. Boom. There we go. Okay. That's the setup. So you cross multiply and find out what the total of that thing is. And if you did that, you would find out that the answer pineapples is going to be 360 acres. There you go. Okay. All right. Another one. When the race began, the ratio of pros to amateurs was 2 to 17. 3,800 racers were in the race. That's the total. How many were amateurs? Well, let's figure out our ratios, right? You know what? Pause it right now. You, you go ahead right now and figure out. Write me three ratios, okay? Pros to amateurs, pros to the total, and amateurs to the total. Pause it and go ahead and write those three. All right, pros to amateurs, you should have had, that's 2 to 17. Pros to total, that's going to be 2 to 19. Amateurs to total, that's going to be uh, 17 to 19. All right, which one are they asking? 300 racers were in the race, that's the total, so we're not using that one. How many were amateurs? Nope, there we go, let's use this one. Okay, so they're asking how many were amateurs, so no, we know we're not gonna have an answer for amateurs, so just put A. Okay, um, the total, okay, that's gonna be 3,800 total, they tell us, and that's gonna be 17 to 19, and there you go. Now you might look at this and notice that 38 divided by 19 is two. So whatever this is over here, you're gonna multiply by two and then zero, zero, 200. So 17 times two is 34 and add the 100. So there are 3,400 amateurs in this race and that's your method, okay. If you kinda of got lost a little bit, go back and look at a couple of examples. And again, make sure in your notebook, you are going like this, boom, 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 and putting examples and you're going less than 100. This is it, 100. 23 lessons left to go. Okay, all right. Okay, let's try the practice problem on page 312. Go ahead and write all three ratios first, then decide, then fill in the blanks, then do the arithmetic, okay? All right, probably take you three or four minutes, so go ahead and take your time to do it. Okay, big to small. Big to small is two to nine. Okay, which means big to total is two to 11. And then small to total is 9 to 11, right? Okay. If there were 100, 200, excuse me, 242 ships in the harbor, so we're going to use a total, how many were big? So we need this one. Oh, we also need, they want small too, those jerks. Okay. All right, so let's go, how many were big? Okay, so the total is 242. I'm using this one first, and we don't know big. So we know it's 2 to 11, though, all right? So if we go 11 times B equals 2 times 242, that's, oops, that's 484. Did I do that right? Oh yeah, I did that right. Okay, so B is going to be, there will be four, 44 ships. There we go. Okay. How many were small? Well, you could either take 242 and subtract 44, or you could just go ahead and do this other one as well. So small to total, that's 242, equals 9 to 11. So 11 times S equals 9 times 242. Oh, why did I volunteer to do this? Okay, that's going to be small equals 198. Boom, there you go. Okay, all right. That's it for today. After today, lesson 100 is finished. So 23 more to go. So all right, have a great day. See you all next time.